That's right, guys. I figured we would do a little Q&A on the golf cart today. I figured we'll just try something a little different. Why not, right? 27 hearts beat. Holy crap, did you see that? That's, that was massive. Sizable. Yeah. All right, guys. So, like I told you, we're going to do things a little different today. Um, I posted this earlier on Instagram asking you guys, you know, a little Q&A session. What you guys want me to answer. What's the hardest thing you have to do by yourself while working on a fox? So the hardest thing that I've ever had to do on a Fox, which, you know, really all depends. Uh, whenever I was younger, probably the very first thing that was almost out of my, my league, I guess you could say, would probably be uh, pulling a transmission and putting it in by myself. That was, that was pretty intense. As far as now, um, I would say just pulling an engine, you know, transmission, stuff like that. Body work is another thing. Sometimes that gets a little... Uh, it's a little taxing and uh, I feel like I need some help on that because uh, that's not really my wheelhouse. Paint, I can do paint, but body work, ooh, I'm struggling with that right now, guys. Would you coyote swap the Calypso Green Fox? Uh, no, I'm uh, not going to coyote swap anything, honestly, uh, in the near future. It's just not really my thing. You know, that's more of Fox cast. That's more of his thing. For me, I just like to push rod stuff. I'm not trying to make race cars out of them or anything like that. We know we have the Terminator if we want to go fast. We can put a tire on that car and do whatever we need to do with it. So, no, not not really interested, honestly, in the Cody swap, so. Heads, cam, intake, and rear gear combos. How do they perform best and for the best bang of their buck? So, best bang for your buck with heads, cam, you know, intake, set up like that for these Fox bodies. And now, notice that I'm saying best bang for the buck. Um, I would say, GT40 heads, uh, any off the shelf cam. So, you know, you can run the Alphabet cam, Trick Flow makes a good cam. Anderson makes a really good cam. I think the N41 is a good cam. Um, 373 gears, 355 is good. Uh, intake setup, GT40, like a Explorer intake, something like that. Any of your aftermarket intakes are gonna be fine. And as long as you're gonna be running GT40 style heads, stuff like that, you can just stick with the 19 pound injectors and you'll be just fine. But that you know just budget stuff guys uh you know you, that'll make a, a decent amount of power with these cars and you can always clean the heads up at home before you put them on you know kind of hand port them a little bit and they'll they'll definitely pick up some power um thoughts on fuel injected versus carburetted fox bodies i have some thoughts on this absolutely have some opinions if you want to go fast on a budget and when i say budget i mean you know for the least amount of money as possible go carbureted Carbureted with nitrous is really, that's the cheapest and best way to go for money. Um, if you're wanting to go like turbo or supercharged, I would go fuel injected all day long. The whole blow through thing is, you know, I don't know guys. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of people fail with that combo. So I would say this, if you're on a budget and you want to go fast, especially if you're going to make a race car uh, and, you, and you plan on running nitrous, just go carbureted. If you want to go turbo, supercharge, or something like that, go ahead and stay fuel injected. Um, ever had any trouble with the fuel pump relay or ECC relay or wire and ground problems on any of your foxes? Not really. I hear a lot of people talk about that. You know, they, they're always commenting on relays and stuff like that for, for the fuel pumps. I have not really ran into that problem, to be completely honest with you. So, uh, no. Um, ever thought about bringing another bike to the channel? Another bike? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys... You guys hit me with the bike. Oh, man. I thought about it. I, I really do. You know, that's my passion. That is probably my second largest passion, I would say, is probably bikes. And, uh, guys, I, I love drag racing bikes. Um, I don't know. There might be. There might be another bike maybe after we finish this car. And uh, But if I do, it will be drag racing only. Uh, I don't ride bikes on the street anymore. But we absolutely could do a, a drag bike uh, setup, like a budget drag bike setup. I'll tell you this, the last bike that I had was a, a stock ZX-10, had a slip-on exhaust, 12 over, foot shifted, run like 570, like 572 I think is what it ran. So 
really quick bike and uh yeah um, any turbos or superchargers for the channel in the future uh so we have plans absolutely to do a a turbo on i was going to do it on the retro fox but i think we're going to save the turbo setup for the calypso fox it all depends on money guys uh if the money keeps coming in then we very well may do that if not then we'll have to stick with what we got would you recommend an anderson cam absolutely now i have not i don't have any experience with the anderson cams myself so i can't sit here and tell you that they are the best cams out there i don't know but a lot there's a lot of hype around them and they seem to be a good cam i think they put a lot of thought and effort into the grinds on these cams so from what i understand if, if you have a little bit of extra money go ahead and go with the anderson in my opinion the n41 i think is a good cam when are you going to make b cam mafia shirts b cam mafia shirts i think i have those actually i think i have those on teespring um go on teespring and just look through there and see i think i have those already if not i'll add them um have you thought any more about the drivetrain and the club silk home we're tossing around some ideas right now i'll go ahead and just mention it to you guys because it's it's not like a huge secret so we're tossing around the idea of doing a 351 windsor in the car we have one out of i think it's my dad's 93 ford pickup truck i used to drive it in school so it's efi roller uh we're thinking about pulling that out uh, just freshening it up real quick and putting it in the car um honestly no we're still kind of up in the air on that though it would be a lot easier to put a 302 maybe find a donor car and just put everything in it we're just not there yet on that decision do you plan on going to mustang week 2019 i can't go to mustang week i'm done for events this year the particular job i have limits me in the spring and fall a lot of times so uh probably not maybe next year though we'll see what's the best affordable or slash affordable low aftermarket computer for fox body aftermarket i think the micro squirt uh is is pretty good i've heard a lot of people talk about that i i've not run any uh aftermarket computers in these cars i hear a lot of people talk about it but for what i do just for street purposes i, I have no issues with the stock computer i'm probably not the best one to ask about that so when are you going to have the retro fox the poor man's fox the clips of home the arctic fox andrew's tuxedo black gt the 1k fox um ray's white gt survivor and papa t's supercharged fox what? body all together wow that would be a that'd be a hell of a combo that'd be an awesome video so as soon as uh as soon as i get my car together the the calypso clone we will probably try to get everything together but uh you know that's actually somewhat of a feat to get all these cars together at one time believe it or not even though we're all friends and family but yeah at some point we might do that uh, i'd love to have them all together at a show or an event that would be really cool name your top three factory colors and your top three non-factory colors that would look great on a fox body top three factory colors on a fox body and uh, i will stick to just the fox body colors so uh, top factory color and i cannot think of the actual name of it but it's the uh, emerald green like the green and silver gts love those uh reef blue and probably it's teal metallic i'd say for the uh for the cobra least favorite number one on the list guys and you're not gonna believe this number one least favorite fox body color is calypso i cannot stand calypso green in factory form i don't know what it is about it i just don't like it but it looks very very good as a respray it's probably one of my favorite colors as a respray uh another color i do not like well i don't like the yellows i don't like the fox body yellow i think it's like a chrome yellow or something like that you guys be watching out behind me don't let this thing sneak up on me now I don't like the Cabernet Red, like the really dark, deep red. I'm, I'm not a fan of that, probably. That'd be my last. What's the best intake and carb setup? The best intake and carb setup. So uh, it depends on what you're going to be doing. Uh, if you're going to be on the street, I recommend the Torker 2 intake or the uh, RPM intake. I like those a lot. Um, if you're going to be spraying nitrous, definitely go with a single plane intake. Don't go with a dual plane. I think it's the RPM intake is dual plane. It's a great intake for the street, but you don't really need to spray that. You can, but if you got a badass set of heads, you got some gear in the car, you got a large cam, then absolutely go with the Victor Jr. Uh, intake for the street. And carburetor, that's just up in the air. I like the Demon Carbs, but you could run any of the HP carbs. The Pro Form makes a really good carb too for the money. All, all sorts of shit out there now. I, I, I can't. I've been out of the carburetor game so long now. I really can't tell you. Uh, did you install new springs when you uh, became the Red Fox? No, I did not uh, put springs in the car as far as valve springs go, because the 
the B cam really doesn't have a lot of lift to it. It's worthwhile to do, but I just don't do it. Uh, now, if I was going any bigger than a B cam, then absolutely I'd put valve springs on, like an F cam, something like that. Any plans to five lug swap the retro slash people's fox? No. Uh, see, honestly, no, no, um, no benefit from five lug swapping other than wheel choice. I'm just one of these guys. I like to go fast. And I don't care about stopping so I'm not really a brake guy so uh, other than wheel options no guys I probably won't be doing a five lug swap anytime soon um, once the people's Fox is finished motor and all how similar will it be to the retro Fox um it all depends really if we go with a 302 it's gonna be almost identical uh, like probably like a B cam or Anderson cam or maybe even the fabled G cam might actually do that in the car so we'll see uh, if we go Windsor obviously it's gonna be completely different um what's some recommendations on making 315s on 10 and a half wide will fit in the rear of a gt 315s are are a tight fit i think foxcast did a video on this and 315s are really pushing it guys i, I think you can do it i know you're gonna have to roll the fenders you're gonna have to do some massaging on the back side of your wheel well back there and uh, obviously remove quad shocks and stuff like that um and probably not slam your car you're gonna have to keep the car kind of up a little bit but uh, you have to watch Foxcast video on that. He's he's got one where he talks about that. Any chance on a vert fox? <sighs> uh, I am not a convertible fox guy. Um, I don't know why. I just I'm just not. So probably at, at the moment I would say no. But you never know, guys. We might pick up a uh, a nice clean one. The only one that I want, I'll be honest with you guys. The only vert that I want would be a triple black vert so it'd be a black gt black top black interior something like that you know if i found a good deal then yeah that's a possibility all righty uh what's your opinion on the 94 through 95 5.0 cars great cars they uh they run a little hot that's one of the first things that uh that i want to mention to to anybody that's thinking about getting a 94 through 95 i don't know what it is it's the same engine bay essentially but man do those cars run hot under the hood it's just something that I've noticed through the years, um, and I just had issues with it. I mean, they, they run so freaking hot, they kill the damn TFI module all the time on them. Um, but other than that, aside from that, they're freaking great cars. Uh, there may be one of those on the channel before too long. I love my 94, 95 Mustang. So if you guys are thinking about getting one of those, by all means, go get one. Alrighty, what do you think the best sealant for head bolts is? Best sealant for head bolts? Mm -hmm. uh depends if you're going into a water jacket i use a little bit of rtv if you're going into a non water jacket uh hole then i just use a little bit of oil like whatever oil i'm using in the engine like a 30 weight oil or something like that is all i use <laughs> favorite adult beverage while sanding and turning wrench <laughs> oh my <well>, guys <laughs> probably um you know i, w I was gonna say zima but uh, Zima, nah, uh, I actually really like the, uh, I'm big into the Bud Light Orange right now. I like those things a lot. And uh, as soon as we get back home, that's probably what I'm going to be having. Do you have any experience or knowledge of Stinger Performances, Micro Skirt Based, Pimp XS, X Shift, EFI Computer System? No, like I told you guys, I don't have a lot of experience with the aftermarket computers and stuff like that. So, no. Okay. Is that it? Are we done? Ha! Ah, look at that, guys. We knocked it all out with the help of Crager. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, this is Crager. This is my son. He does, uh, he's does. he been on the channel a couple times, but uh, yeah, we're just out chilling, just hanging out. So uh, I'm not working on the car, as you can see. I'm taking a break, guys. I'm taking a break. Spending some much needed time with my son. And I uh, figured we'd just kind of come out on a little golf cart ride, talk a little bit. Well, all right, guys. I hope. I hope I answer all your questions as best as possible anyway. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching. Hot damn, another shot up in the air again. I'll probably never care again about anything I'm arrogant. Ooh.